Hey, what is up you guys? How is it going? Tomorrow, I'm going to be leaving on a trip to LA. It's almost midnight where I am right now and I've decided to dye my hair neon coral. And I didn't just decide to dye my hair. I've been wanting to do this color for a while. So basically, I'm going to mix Arctic Fox Porridge and Electric Paradise. So it's going to be this beautiful pinky orange if all goes well. So yeah, I've been wanting to do this color for a while. This was going to be one of my summer colors, but now it's like already transitioning into fall. And I'm like, wait, 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 I still want to do this color. So now that I'm going to California, I'm like, it's still technically going to be summer there, right? So this is going to be my California summer color. That's my thought process here. I'm going to leave some inspiration shots here so you can see the color that I'm going for. So hopefully this goes well. And I didn't even realize, but when I was looking for the inspo pictures of like the color I was looking for, I didn't know that 2019, the Pantone color of the year is Living Coral. So, I mean, I'm dyeing my hair Living Coral for the Pantone color of the year. And I'm super excited to have a new color, but at the same time, I'm like, I love being platinum. It's like, I love being platinum, but then I'm kind of getting bored of being blonde and I want to do a fun color, but then at the same time, I'm like, oh, I like being, you know, you know, this is why I do wigs because I change my hair color so often and I like get bored of my hair and I want to have a new color. That's why wigs are the way to go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Electric Paradise and squirt that in. Ooh, it's so pretty. That's such a nice color. Okay, and then I'll go in with a little bit of the porridge. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be so nice. All right, so this is the color I'm working with, and I don't know if the camera is picking it up exactly. I feel like the camera makes it look almost a little bit more red than it is. I have to fix my settings, but trust me, the color looks pretty. And I pretty much just did like a half and half, like half of the Electric Paradise and half of the Porridge, and this is such a pretty coral color. All right, here we go, guys. Oh my gosh. And this is my first time doing a color and not mixing conditioner into the bowl. Usually I always lighten my colors to be more of a pastel or whatever. And this is my first time. Is it my first time? Doing a color and not adding conditioner to it. So this is probably going to be super neon. That's what I'm going for. All right, so while my hair is cooking up, I'm gonna dye my hair extensions, and I still have quite a bit of color left in the bowl, which I'm really happy about. So I'm gonna do the watercolor method, and I've only ever done this when I've been toning my hair extensions, so I'll put purple shampoo in the water, put my hair in the water, and then tone it that way to get rid of the yellow tones, but I've never actually colored my hair using the watercolor method. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna put the rest of the bowl in the water and I still have a decent amount of the color in the tubes as well so I'm, I can use that if I need to. So yeah, I'll show you what the water looks like right now. Alright, so here is my bowl of water and I'm just using warm water because I heard that's what's best, I don't know. So let's put this in and mix it up. Yeah, I think the warm water helps the color dissolve. This looks so pretty. So I'm gonna squeeze some more of the pink in here and the orange and mix it up. 
Okay, I can't get it to be not so chunky, but I think this is going to be okay because I feel like the hair is going to soak up the pigments anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the hair. Oh, this is such a pretty color, just like a light version on its own. But this, look at that, that definitely took the color. Ooh, baby, that is looking crazy. All right, so I'm just gonna leave all the hair to soak in the water together until I rinse out my own hair, and then I'm just gonna rinse everything out at the same time. And voila, this is the final look. This is how the color came out after I washed it and styled the hair. So let me know what you guys think. I'm obsessed with this color. This is probably the brightest color that I've done on my natural hair. And I think it came out really pretty. And the extensions came out really nice as well. I put them in already and I gave them a little bit of a trim. So they're not that much longer than my natural hair, which ends like about there. So it's just like a little bit of length and a little bit of volume. I wanted to keep it pretty natural looking and I did these beach waves. So like messy little beach waves. Let me know what you think. I'm living. I'm living for this living coral Pantone color of the year. And I hope this color doesn't fade too fast, but just to kind of replenish it, I mix a little bit in, this is a deep conditioning mask, and I mix a little bit of the color in here as well. So when I wash my hair, I can replenish it with this deep conditioning mask. So just to like add the color back in and keep it vibrant. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this color. Ah, I think it's so much fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll leave a playlist here of some other fun colors that I've tried before if you guys want to check that out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.